last video, recording acoustic guitar part 3, we blended two microphones pointed at different places on the guitar. In this video, we are going to blend a close mic with a distant mic and time align the tracks. We will also blend the direct output of the guitar with the mics using a direct input box, or DI. One of the techniques we have tried so far is placing a mic 30 inches over the bridge, slightly out in front of the guitar. This placement lacked the dynamic highs and lows of the closer positions, but it's a nice clean sound, and the distance from the guitar lets you hear a bit of the room. Let's hear what happens when we blend this mic with the one 12 inches in front of the 12th fret. Of all the dual mic configurations we have tried so far, we like this one the best. The presence of the close mic and the space of the distant mic add up to a sound that seems greater than the sum of its parts, and we really seem to have tamed the powerful low end of this instrument. But we can take this sound up even another level. The mics are at different distances from the guitar, so the sound hits the high mic a bit later than it hits the mic at the twelfth fret about one thousandth of a second later in this case. You can see this if you zoom in on your waveforms. Notice how the high mic track lags behind the neck track. This results in a difference in phase between the tracks at certain frequencies. For instance, at this point, the high mic track is trying to push the playback speaker cone towards you, while the neck mic track is trying to pull it away from you. This can change the tone of your blended tracks. Let's slide the neck mic track to the right so that the two signals are aligned in time. We have now effectively delayed the neck track by one thousandth of a second, which lines up the waveforms but is not enough of a delay to change the groove. Now that the tracks are lined up, let's see what they sound like. Now let's switch back and forth between the time aligned sound and the original sound for comparison. Once the tracks are aligned, we hear a bit more high end, and the sound seems a bit closer and more solid. We recommend you try this technique and decide for yourself which approach you prefer. It is also possible to time align your audio using delay plugins instead of manually moving the track. All this time, we have also been recording the direct output of the guitar using a direct input box, or DI. A DI takes the instrument level signal from a guitar, bass, or synth and converts it to a lower level microphone signal so that you can plug it into your mic inputs. For more information on DIs, check out another one of our videos, Recording Bass Guitar Part 3. Here is what the direct output of this guitar sounds like by itself. Now let's blend the direct output with our mic tracks. As you can hear, there are many possible combinations. The DI picks up the sound even earlier than our closest mic, so we should definitely try time aligning again. We are going to delay the DI and the mic at the 12th fret so that they line up with the more distant mic placed 30 inches over the bridge. Let's listen again. Let's do a quick comparison, switching back and forth between the aligned and the non-aligned sound.
quite a difference. Once we line up these tracks, the sound is brighter and more solid. Try it for yourself when you combine direct signals with mics and see if you like it. In our next video, Recording Acoustic Guitar Part 5, we will use two mics to record the guitar in stereo. 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 stereo.